in a previous video we talked about how character A would be represented with the second bit on the left, the 64, and the last bit on the right, the 1, being the two bits that have electricity flowing through them. Well, some people say that the computer understands capital A to be 01000001, and that really is the binary represent, representation of a ca capital A. You see, binary is a numbering system that only has two values, a 0 and a 1. And in this case, we're using 0 to represent no current flowing through a wire and a 1 to represent current flowing through the wire. And that's okay. You can do that. As a matter of fact, human beings do it all the time. But the computer doesn't understand zeros and 1s, really. It really understands the presence or absence of electricity running through a wire and human beings like to use zeros and ones to represent no electricity or electricity running through a wire. Zero for no electricity and a one for electricity. Okay, now, I want to talk to you about another topic just for a second. I want to talk to you about an 8-bit byte. So if we have 8 bits in a byte, how many total ways can we configure it? Well, you can configure it 256 different ways. Well, how did I get that? Well, let's just take one bit right here. How many different ways can I configure it? It can be off or on, so two ways. Let's take two bits. How many different ways can I configure it? It can be off, off, on, on, off, on, or on, off. Four ways. Let's take three bits. How many ways can I configure it? Eight ways. Let's take four bits. How many different ways can I configure it? 16 ways. Do you notice the pattern there? So if you have if you have 8 bits that make up a byte and you have 128 below the leftmost bit, that's its value. We'll go one more to the left. That's 256 total ways. Matter of fact, if I kind of show you this here, okay, you could configure uh, you could configure that bit right here 256 different ways. But if you had 16 wires right here, you can configure it 65,536 different ways. So why is that important? Well, let's get back to this. If you have an 8-bit byte and you can only configure it 256 total ways, how is the computer going to store all the characters of every alphabet known to mankind. I mean, I know in English our keyboard can represent can be represented by simple 8-bit ASCII, no doubt about it. Because we can actually configure RAM, we can configure every character on our keyboard can be put into one of these one of these storage locations. But what about if I want to sell computers to people that speak other languages? What about if I want to sell computers to people that have representations of characters in their alphabet that are different than what's on our keyboard. Well today, if we take all the characters known to mankind of every alphabet, of every language known, uh, there's over 60,000 of these different characters. Well 60,000 doesn't fit into 256. So we can't store every character in one byte. What we're going to do now is store a character in two bytes. So we're going to take two bytes to store one character. Okay, and if you look over here again at this image here, if you had, and I'm kind of squeezing this in here, if you had two bytes, okay, grouped together, and you can see their place values 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, keep going, 256, 512, 1024. Um, 2048, 4096, 8192, 16384, and 32768. If I want to know how many different ways I can configure 16 wires or 2 bytes, I go one more place to the left, and that's 65,536. And we call this solution to this situation, we call this Unicode. So Unicode is actually what replaces ASCII as a coding scheme. In Unicode, there's different versions of Unicode, but the version of Unicode that I want to introduce you to is just 2-byte Unicode, 16-bit Unicode, and it actually has 
the capability to store over 65,500 uh, characters using a uh, two bytes for a character. And by the way, ASCII is a subset of Unicode. So if you were to think about um, right here, if you wanted to store a capital A in Unicode, well, none of the bits in the leftmost, if we're going to talk about this place here, the leftmost byte here, none of them are on, but the 64 and the 1 are on in the rightmost. So capital A in Unicode is 65, capital B is 66, capital C is 67, lowercase a is 97, lowercase b is 98, and so forth. So ASCII is a subset of Unicode.